G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines with a boat hull that you've seen us test before. I'm with Laurie from Whitley Queensland Boat Sales. And Laurie, I've tested a couple of CW 1950s before. This is that same hull rebirth, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it is, Steve. Uh, now it's a Fish Finder FF. It used to be uh, clear water, uh, yeah, CW. Uh, we did market some aluminium boats that were clear water, so it got a bit confusing. And um, yeah, we've rebranded the FF, uh, FF range, and um, yeah, it's great range of boats. Um, this one here in particular, obviously 19 and a half foot long, powered mm. by Mercury's three litre, uh, 135 horsepower, four stroke motor. This thing eats up any of that chop that we've got on the water today. Yeah, it? yeah, it did a fantastic job this morning when we were coming down and I expect it to do equally as well going back. But it is uh, standard with a 100 uh, Mercury four stroke on it. This particular boat has a 135 and you can actually upgrade to 150 if you choose, which makes it into a bit of a water rocket really. Looking through the boat, uh, it's got this one here, the test boat has all of the bells and whistles. It's got that lovely rubber floor. It's got the transom door to get in and out. It's got all the rod holders. It has a really expansive cabin compared to the smaller FFs in the range. Um, it sort of really is set up as a, a fairly featured out uh, runabout style boat. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And it's, um, it's, it's affordable for a start. And it gets all those, all the bells and whistles, like you said. You can actually fit a 12 inch sounder on the dash. As I said, it comes with a 150 if you chose to choose to do that kill tank uh, 150 litres under the floor you can get the deck wash uh, the live bait tank as you can see on this boat we've got a quite a sizable uh, bait board and some uh, three-way rod holders there as well yeah it is all set up uh, if you like your fishing that's great and basically everything from the dash back is all fishing focused but everything forward is uh, it's about getting the family uh, in a comfortable position when they're out on the water it's yeah. got the uh, it's got the bimini for the shade it's got the cabin for the protection and I notice there's a lot of cabin storage in this boat, yeah. you know, the double shelf layer nearly all the way around, yeah, it, it yeah. eats up a lot of gear. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And this particular boat has the bunk infills in the front, so it can be used as an overnight boat. You could go out on the broadwater and get a, a kickstart in the morning, you know, straight out the front. It's, an, it's a tried and true offshore boat. You know, customers who have bought them have been 30 k's offshore in this boat, and it performs really well. Um, the last thing is the uh, the trailer it comes on. This comes on a twin axle trailer. Um, safety for towing at large distances, but uh, no problems driving it on and off. It's all designed just to drive straight yeah. on. There's none of this winding handles anymore, mm -hmm. is there? That's the beauty of uh, these boats on uh, the Whitley boats on the on the Dumby and McKay uh, trailer. It does have the bunks on the back rather than the multi roller trailers, and the boat just uh, comes onto the trailer and sits on those bunks. It makes it so easy to drive on, drive off. It's uh, you know great package. I suppose there's nothing to be intimidated with this boat. If you're going to move up from a tinny to something, uh, something a little bit more family friendly, a little bit more comfortable, um, you don't need any more skill than a tinny into a boat like this. Do you? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And and it's in some ways it's um, it's it's better than a tinny because you know you got that heavier hull and it uh, handles all the all the chop that we saw this morning and it just ate it like you said. Uh, great ride, nice soft dry ride. Yeah. Well, we're going to go and take it back out of the water. We're going to come back to you with some of the performance statistics. So there you go, that's what Whitley's FF 1950 looks like on the water, powered by this 135 horsepower Mercury motor. This boat is rated to 150 horsepower, and personally, I'd be putting the 150 horsepower on. It's the same three litre block as the 135, uh, weighs exactly the same on the back of your boat. 
and I always like keeping the, the maximum horsepower on there, although that 135 keeps the price down a little bit. Let's have a look at some of the performance stats. Uh, the most economical cruising speed was at 3,500 RPM, where it does 36 kilometres an hour, and you get 1.9 kilometres per litre burnt. Now, if you uh, rev that up to 5,800 RPM, which is the maximum speed, 65 kilometres an hour, and that economy drops to only 1.2 kilometres per litre burn. Now, this has 150 litres of fuel under the floor, and at the best economy, that's just under 300 kilometres of theoretical range. Plenty enough for the family to get out and into the great outdoors for a weekend. Um, what did I like about the boat? I like the, um, compared to the smaller boats in the FF Whitley range, this has quite a large cabin in it and it has a lot of space that you can store your gear both under the bunks, in the shelves around the outside and even in the middle slots. It's got the uh, centre bunk infill which turns it into a place where two small adults could sleep, two large adults would have their feet uh, hanging out over the end. Uh, I also love the fact that Whitley has their own customised rubberised decks in these boats. Uh, any boat that you can go out, make a mess of and then hose off with a garden hose, uh, in my opinion, is an easy boat to look after. Um, ergonomically, uh, these seats work really well. Whitley always do under seat storage really well. Uh, often you can have combinations of eskies and fridges. This one here had a couple of uh, cool boxes in there. One for your fish once you're chilling them down and maybe one for your food and ice underneath. It's also got the built-in underfloor kill tank which will hold, uh, hold a good catch of fish. You can kill them, let them bleed out in there and then move them onto the ice later on. Um, it's got the removable uh, aftermarket bait board at the back um, which is very handy for guys that like, uh, that like uh, setting a bait out uh, and also fishing rod storage is really cool. Up in the rod launcher here, um, it's a combination Bimini top uh, rocket launcher. Um, you can keep plenty of rods up there and out of trouble. Um, I did also really like the two shelves which are on the side. Lots of boats have a single gunnel shelf. This one has a two, sort of a two level one which uh, you can keep sort of twice as much gear in there and that's of course where we keep all of the gear that we need to get our hands on really quickly. Um, it doesn't have a lockable cabin so it's not really like some of the bigger Whitley boats where you can uh, lock all your gear away and keep it out of the road but for the price and this one sells for $93,000 $990. It's a very, it's a, a big, comfortable boat that you can tow behind most twin cab utes or the family car. For more information, make sure you go to the website whitley.com.au or check out their socials down here to check out what boat shows they're going to be at and what their latest product releases are.